Finally, this is the little cherry on top of this hate-filled Sunday from the left reacting to a national tragedy and blaming the right for it with no base whatsoever. Former CNN contributor and admitted cannibal Riza Aslan called for the murder of the senior advisor to the president, Kellyanne Conway. He tweeted out, quote, you are the depraved evil we need to eradicate. Because Kellyanne Conway said we need to eradicate depraved evil. Obviously, that's what we all want to do. Evil doesn't have a political party. The, the shooter in Texas might have been a little more right-wing, maybe. So he's very left-wing too, but even let's just say he was a little more right-wing. The shooter in Ohio was obviously very left-wing. Evil doesn't have a political party. We need to eradicate evil. And he, he, Risa Aslan responded to that by saying, we need to eradicate you. He didn't say we need to eradicate you from office. Didn't say we need to eradicate you from politics. He said we need to eradicate you. We need to murder you. Imagine, imagine if someone, a conservative, tweeted out about a senior advisor to Barack Obama, we need to kill you, we need to eradicate you. Roseanne Barr once tweeted out a racially insensitive joke about the senior advisor to President Obama, Valerie Jarrett. She lost her hit sitcom within hours. This guy, CNN contributor Reza Aslan, calls to murder the senior advisor to the president. And what has happened? nothing. This in a situation where one of the shooters is a, an admitted socialist and Liz Warren supporter, but the left doesn't care. They don't report on it. They blame the right for everything. They call the right bigoted. No introspection, no humility, no grace. They just pretend that they're all white supremacists and so is Trump and so is everybody else. This, this reminds me when we're, when the right is looking about how to re respond to this, it makes me think, you know, when you're in middle school or high school, everyone's giving each other, or they're breaking each other's kulyuns, you know, they're uh, giving each other a hard time, busting each other's chops. And there's sometimes, at least among guys, I assume this is true among girls too, where, you know, you're giving it back and forth to each other and you're insulting one another and you can do it in kind of good fun or it can turn a corner and it becomes serious and it becomes really bullying and it becomes like you realize the other guy hates you. You're not just kidding around anymore. And I think in American politics, the right is under this misapprehension that we're just kind of joking around and look, the right says bad things about the left, which we do. We call them kind of dummies sometimes or hysterical children. And then the left says bad things about the right. And, but you know, look, at the end of the day, we're all Americans. We all get along. That's not what we're seeing here. They hate us. They hate our guts. They wish we were eradicated. They think that we are Nazis. They think we're the same thing as Hitler. They hate us. It's not just in good political fun back and forth. They despise us. They want our shows taken off the air. They want us to leave the country. They hate us. It's not the same thing. And what this means, like when you got to stand up to the bully in middle school or high school, it means you can't just kind of make a joke about it anymore. You've got to really, you got to really take them on seriously. And what, what this means is that probably on the right, we need our own media matters. What this means on the right is we need to really speak with brutal honesty about them. Not in the way that you talk about a friend and you say, well, I'm going to have a little grace. I'm going to, no, I, I don't think we can have grace right now with the left. I think we need to speak brutally, honestly about them. What hopeless bigots they are. How vile and filled with hatred they are. How despicably they're exploiting the not yet cold bodies of dead Americans for their own sick, shallow political purposes. It's so shameful. They should feel profound shame. Their parents should feel shame for what they're doing. Their parents should be deeply ashamed of them and they should be ashamed of themselves, and they should go and sit at home and cry and think about what terrible actions they've undertaken and what terrible people they've become. And then they should ask forgiveness of their God and ask forgiveness of all of us and ask forgiveness of the president and ask forgiveness of Kellyanne Conway and ask forgiveness of Mitch McConnell and ask, plead on their hands and knees if they can be permitted back into polite civil society. It's really, really disgusting, all of them, 